The Framework 12 is here. It arrived in record time from Taiwan, one day overnight shipping. I just got it in last week, so let's take a look at it today. Welcome to another episode of Spice Vader. Let's dive right in. So here's our Framework 12. Comes in a box, as you'd expect. Here's the model, Framework 12 DIY. Uh, with the i3-1315U. I got it in lavender this time. I went with a DIY kit with nothing included. Let's get this opened up and take a look. All right, here it is. Framework 12 unboxing experience input cover kit. Oh, we have the expansion cards that I ordered. I got another USB-C expansion card. Uh, another HDMI expansion card and a USB-A expansion card. It's got the lavender screwdriver and spudger combo included. It's got a Phillips Zero and Torx T5. So we'll set that aside for now. Uh, and then we have our documentation here. Scan to get started. Computers shouldn't be boring. 100% recyclable packaging. This is nice, got a little sticker pack and I'm guessing warranty, safety, legal guide. The usual boring stuff. Let me just look at the boring stuff. I love a little boring in my life. Using your framework laptop. There it is. Uh-huh. One eternity later. We don't care about all that. We want to get to the assembly process. Ooh, it's got that Apple-esque paper cover. Oh yeah, uh-huh, let's get it out of here. Ah, there it is. Yeah, we got eight screws on the bottom here, four expansion base slots. Looks like these have a lock on them too, which the Framework 13 didn't have. The 13, as for reference, just had a little button here. So let's actually take a look at the size difference. Here's the 12 versus the 13. I don't know if I can get that all in there. Yeah, that's barely smaller than the 13. The thickness, I'll throw all these specs up on the screen, but the thickness, it's slightly thicker. Um, and then as far as weight goes, this has a touch screen and is one of those reversible yoga styles. So there's what it looks like. Framework 12. Screws are pre-loosened, it looks like. It's a real easy process. It's the same thing as the Framework 13. Ooh, but we got a glossy screen this time. Can't remember if this has facial recognition, like Windows Hello. I'm gonna double check before I commit to that. Ah, uh, we understand that you'd like to see a Framework Laptop 12 with fingerprint reader, Bagley keyboard, and Windows Hello. For now, these are not available. So you're gonna have to rely on a pin code or a password. You can go and get the RAM and the SSD from Framework's website when you order this, but you're gonna pay a little upcharge and it's cheaper to just get these things on your own, Amazon, Newegg, whatever you want. Or if it's like me, I've got a lot of these kind of devices hanging around, so I ended up having an extra 512 gig 2230. This is gonna need a 2230, by the way. The storage slot is right here. We don't have room for a 2280. They probably could have made it work, but they decided not to. Uh, the input cover has changed. Instead of a big ribbon, you've got just these pogo pins here. So that's kind of cool. Let's install our SSD real quick. It's got a little lock tab in here. All you got to do is just pry up on it. Take your SSD. This is my 512 gig Solidime SSD. And we'll just stick it in. Prop up the tab a little more. Rest it in the little thing. You were supposed to lock in, sir. There. And you just lock it down. For the RAM, I probably should have got a 24 gig or a 32 gig stick, but this was pretty cheap. It's just a 16 gig DDR5 5600 from Crucial. It's only a single stick in this system. There's no dual channel, which is a bummer. You know, it is what it is. And we'll talk about the price of these and if this is worth the price. You are still getting eight core or eight threads with it. You're getting six cores, eight threads. Not bad for a system that's gonna be very low power. Uh, the battery here is 50 watt hour. 
just looking at the different things, you know, made by the framework team, it's very similar to the 13. It's just, it's a different, different form factor a little bit. Let's pop this ram. Oh, that's got a magnetic. That's cool. This has a magnetic flap. That's pretty deep. And it says DDR5 up to 48 gig. So we could expand this a little more. The RAM goes upside down. There it is. Flip this back up and over. And it doesn't hold down the same way that it comes up. Yeah, that's fine. The input cover, I'll keep it on there. But that's it, you don't have to do anything else. It's, that's the only thing you can really change on here. It's got a Intel AX211 NGW Wi-Fi card. So what's the big difference between this i3 and the i5? Well, it's just gonna come down to core count and the integrated graphics. So with the i3, again, you're getting the four E cores, two P cores that are hyper-threaded, so eight cores total, or eight threads total, I should say. And the GPU is going to be the Intel UHD graphics with 64 execution units. On the i5 version, you're gonna get 12 total threads, giving you its eight E cores and the same two P cores. Uh, they're slightly clocked higher, so you do get a little performance bump that way. Uh, but it's the same layout, same setup, single RAM stick, single 2230. You will get the Intel Iris XE 80 execution unit GPU, so that should be a little bit of a bump. That I feel like they should have just put in here as well, but I get it, they're trying to get the price down. So I ordered this in April of this year, 2025, and it just came in August. So, you know, that was the, and this is batch four for the Framework 12. So the price I paid for this system was $500 and that's just the base i3 version. There are cheaper i3 1315U systems out there, but they're not framework ones. So, you know, this has got that standard of repairability. If you like that, this is where you go. Those other ones, I don't know. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the input cover kit was $49. Okay, it's 550. You're not gonna use it without an input cover. Uh, as far as the expansion cards go, it does have USB-C in these ports. You could do without them, but that's weird. I mean, why would you do that? But yeah, out the door, 593, you know, not including tax. So let's put the input cover on. Let's fire it up, see what it looks like. Ah, they put a bigger tearing tab on here. That's kind of nice. More apple -y paper. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. So the touchpad looks like it's connected with a ribbon and that's what goes here. The keyboard part goes into the touchpad part and with circuitry, then it runs to the pogo pins. Insert the input cover starting from the front edge. Okay, so that's good that they tell you that because most people would want to do this. You're apparently supposed to start like this. Yeah, that's not bad, easy. Uh, we'll take the screwdriver they included, flip it over. This is plastic, you can tell. It's got that feel to it. That worked out real nice. It went together a lot quicker than the Framework 13 did. Let's see how this looks. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. I like the feel of the keyboard on here. Uh, let's try bending it backwards. This is always nerve wracking. Not nerve wracking at all. That was nice. That was decent. We've got the power button on the side here and we've got a three and a half mil uh, headphone jack built in just like the Framework 13 had. Um, we need to put in our expansion cards. So that's the color difference. VA port here. We're missing one, I have more cards. This is how it looks with the uh, expansion cards filled. 
orange light. That's cool. And our power button again is on the side, so let's hit that. I'm sure since this is first boot, it takes it a second, so we'll just give it a second to memory train and do all that stuff. So we got our inside BIOS, just like the Framework 13. 13th gen Intel Core i3 1315U, DRAM is running at 5200 megahertz, or mega transfers. 16 gigs of RAM is recognized. We're gonna do a full test of it and we'll check things out. Uh, but right now I'm just unboxing and firing it up. And our Solidime 512 gig SSD is recognized. I'll do a full review on this and test things out, see how battery life is, see performance, maybe even run an eGPU off that built-in 2230 slot. It won't do it out of the uh, ports on the sides because they're not USB 4, it's only USB 3.2. So that's fine, it's a budget machine. It's not meant for that anyway, but I'm gonna try to run on eGPU, that's what I do. But uh, I wanted to touch, test the touch. We probably need to install a driver. That's all stuff for later on. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, we're gonna look into this Framework 12 a little bit more and see what it's all about, see how its durability is. Doesn't feel too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless you. Have a great week. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, lady. Do it, lady. Oh, what does that do?